I, and without cause or mercy, murderer most vile and wretched? No, I am thy father. Nay, tis not true, tis impossible. Pray search thy feelings, Luke, thou knowest it is true. Nay! Uh, there you go, that's what it is. If you've ever seen the movie Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, you probably recognize this famous exchange between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. But you may also have noticed that this version sounds a lot like a Shakespearean play. That's exactly what Portland author Ian Desher intended when he wrote the best-selling book, Shakespeare's Star Wars, Verily, A New Hope. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Invited to Shehala Middle School as part of the Library Science Fiction Fantasy Month, Desher explained to both Shehala and Union High School students how we came up with what's called a mashup book, a work of fiction that combines classic literature with another genre, such as science fiction or horror. Star Wars, right, obviously, right, Some, something that so many of us know and have grown up with, you know, whether you're my age or your age or anybody's age. The fact that, that you know, Star Wars is about two hours long, a Shakespearean play is two or three hours long, so I knew that lengthwise it was going to be about right. So it just, it just felt like it could work, you know, and I mean, the, the final thing being, they were both things that I love and am super passionate about. Desher says the idea for the book, which became a New York Times bestseller, was the culmination of several experiences and a passion for both Shakespeare and Star Wars. The book was born out of uh, a couple of experiences that I had of seeing, watching the Star Wars movies again, uh, then reading Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which is one of the first in this mashup genre of literature, uh, and then going down to the Oregon Shakespeare Festival and seeing some of the plays with my family. and. Uh, you know, when I had the idea, which was right during the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, I, I sort of thought to myself, you know, this could really work. Desher says Star Wars and Shakespeare aren't as different as some might think. Star Wars is this grand heroic story, you know, which is what Shakespeare wrote. I mean, he wrote these big stories with sort of larger than life characters. You have, you know, Darth Vader, who's this great tragic figure, almost like a King Lear. Uh, you know, you have uh, these comic characters, you know, C-3PO and R2-D2 are very similar to Gil Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. There really are so many themes, you know, young people fulfilling their destinies, uh, students and teachers, you know, and their relationships, the whole father-son dynamic, you know, is a huge one. Sto themes that are not only in Shakespeare, but are in so many stories that we have culturally that, uh, you know, that we all know and love. A lesson not lost on Union High School student Johnny Collier. I just thought it was really interesting how you combined the two ideas just because they were, um, they were just completely different. You think of them as completely different things, but they actually, um, when you combine them together, they kinda, they, you can see the similarities between the two. Shehala librarian and Star Wars enthusiast Paul Warner says when he saw Desher at a festival, he knew a visit from the author would be a great way to engage students. My first thought when I saw him present was, this is a fantastic idea to combine Star Wars and Shakespeare. And my second thought was, uh, what a great uh, way to get kids interested in Shakespeare. I want the kids, uh, first of all, always to just really get interested in reading and, and writing. Uh, and, uh, and for Shakespeare and Star Wars, also to get interested in drama and, uh, and uh, in performing. And um, so my hope is that they see that Shakespeare and Star Wars uh, can both be fun uh, and educational at the same time. Beyond the fun of the book, Desher hopes students will also see that Shakespeare is literature that anyone can enjoy. If it's something that helps uh, kids get into Shakespeare, uh, that's, you know, awesome and I, I would love that because I sort of naturally had a love for Shakespeare as I uh, got into high school and, and started you know reading some of his plays uh, and if I could sort of help bridge that gap because I think in our culture there's this feeling with Shakespeare that you know he's sort of this it's it's for the elite you know it's it's and and I think kids go into reading Shakespeare with this nervousness that they're not going to be able to understand it even before they've even tried Union High School student Tyler Wheel says he's a fan of both Star Wars and Shakespeare, but today's presentation made him more curious about the mashup genre. The thing I'm going to take away is uh, just being more curious about what else could be adapted to be like Shakespearean or have, like be adapted to something else, because I think it's a cool idea when they take stuff like Shakespeare or like he mentioned Pride and Prejudice and Zombies 
Or like uh, there's Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I think those are neat ideas taking either something really historical and iconic and then changing it. The presentation definitely inspires me to learn more about Shakespeare. So I'm more into that now. Shahela student Ashlyn Ibarra says she not only feels inspired by today's presentation, but thinks other students do as well. Having authors there and having like the excitement of having someone that actually wrote a book come to school, it inspires because they want to read books so then maybe they can ask, hey, can this author come? Today's presentation was not only a chance for students to meet this unique author and learn about Shakespeare, but to take away an even bigger lesson, one that Desher himself never saw coming. And there are two things I really hope that the students would take away from a presentation like this. Um, first of all, you know, that, hey, Shakespeare sounds interesting and I'd like to give him a try. Uh, that, that would be wonderful if they went away with that. And second of all, just, uh, you know, if you have an idea and if you have a passion, take it and run with it. I did not expect that this book was going to happen in my life. Uh, I had no sense of it coming, hadn't been working on it for years. It was just an idea I had that was related to two of my passions, and, uh, and now it's become something that's published, and I'm doing the sequels, and so uh, I hope that the kids realize, you know, uh, if you have a, a dream or an idea, you should go after it with all you can, because, uh, because who knows?